A decade-long investigation involving several hundred suspected Bosnian war criminals is making headlines as U.S. and Bosnian officials discussed their potential deportation this morning. They are facing charges for hiding their involvement with the Bosnian Serb army. More than 150 Bosnian Serbs living in the U.S. are facing deportation for possible war crimes, 12 of whom live right here in Phoenix. I'm just trying to, to run away, to try to live my life, not to fight with nobody. Vitomir Spirit was forcibly put in the Bosnian military as punishment even though he had already served a year in the Yugoslavia National Military. He was enlisted in the army at the time of the 1995 Srebrenica massacre, but says he was in the hospital and had no involvement in the actual events. You know, if I do the something wrong, normal, I will sell everything and run. But I did not do nothing wrong. Spirit's lawyer says this is one of the many cases where individuals are being targeted simply because of guilt by association just because of association with the Bosnian Serb armies and just because they were in these particular brigades, they are now being targeted as war criminals. And that's the biggest misnomer because the government has accused them, hasn't accused them of being war criminals, simply part of uh, units that may have committed some of these crimes. Spirit says there was confusion over questions on the immigration forms that led to him taking a plea bargain in criminal court for providing a false statement on federal documentation. He is now facing civil litigation for the same offense. Even though he passed the U.S. citizen test, Spirit is neither a Bosnian nor a U.S. citizen due to a hold on his paperwork. Why target these, these low-level individuals? Why make them the scapegoats to keep your mission going? Go after the real war criminals. Spirit says he fears for his two children's well-being if he is sent back to Bosnia. I know, I, I know what to think about that. That's his worst thing, what's going to happen. The trial is not expected to take place until 2018, and a report from the U.S. Justice Ministry says the list of those facing charges could expand to more than 600 soldiers.